G'day, I'm Bruce. I'm here at the scrap metal yard to rescue this four wheel drive off road Bedford fire truck. As far as we can see, it should run. We're going to get it home and get it going and see if we can use it on our property. There's the one from the, that's the car bread of feed in there, isn't it? Got a Stromberg on it. It's got a six cylinder um, petrol motor in it. It looks like it's running a pretty ordinary looking Stromberg car breader, maybe off a Holden car or a Falcon, maybe. Um, looks like a pretty basic looking six cylinder petrol engine. We've got a second battery now with some jumper leads because the first battery looked like it was going to take forever to charge. Pretty big battery, pretty old, we don't know any history on it. So we've got another battery hooked up there now with jumper leads, so we'll give it another go now. <laughs> and it ran pretty hairy like it started up and had old stale fuel in the carburetor and the fuel pump and you could see in the glass bowl the fuel was nearly, nearly yellow it was that stale so anyway um, it came without a top radiator hose but uh, the thermostat housing on it's pretty pretty corroded out so um, we've been downtown and um, on a Saturday this is about the best we can do so we've got this piece of radiator hose here which is the right dimensions that came from one place and uh, we had this bit of stainless steel pipe in our, in our um, scrap pile. And we've got another piece of hose here from another place. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut up some joiners. We're going to make some joiners out of this stainless. We've got a heap of clamps there. And then we're going to cut this piece. And we're going to add that on. So we've got enough. We'll have a joiner in here with stainless. And we'll probably cut this up here. So we'll be able to make up a hose to go on it. Once we've got a hose on it, we can put some water in it and then we can run a bit longer because we're not going to run it too long without any water because that doesn't do any motor any good. It might crack the head or cause the head gasket to start leaking, anything. So we don't, don't want any problems like that. But uh, if you look down in here, you'll even see where the hornets have I been mean, sitting for long enough that the hornets, we've got the hornets nest sitting in here. Always a few hornets nest around the place. But um, there's another hornets nest over in there too and another one down here. They must have, they must have thought, um, it was the right sort of uh, thing to build on, so obviously it hasn't been too hot for a long time, otherwise it would be too hot for the hornets. So, um, and we've worked out it must be a two, must be a 292 cubic um, Mexican Chev engine, they call it apparently. Uh, I've got no idea what horsepower it is, but uh, if you're in Australia, it's a bit like a, a bit like a Holden Red motor, they say, but much bigger. It got to measure up what we need, and uh, we'll get to make up a top hose to put on her, and then we'll be able to put some water in and see if she's going to um, pump up enough air to release the the handbrake. It's got it like an air operated 
handbrake that have air pressure to release the handbrake. But the rest of the truck doesn't have S-cam brakes. It's basically um, basically air over hydraulic system, but it just has this air um, set up on the handbrake. <laughs> The next move is we're ready to put up to put the top hose on, but anyway, there's a fair bit of corrosion uh, inside the old thermostat housing, and rather than it going to the radiator and block a few tubes up, I've got my vacuum arrangement here, which is a small sandblaster, which is very good for vacuuming out diffs and gearboxes and engines and anything, sucking up small particles. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put that down into here and suck up all the stuff, and if you look on the other end here, you'll probably see the stuff come out the other end. And if it blocks up, you just go like this. You block that end off. And stuff will come flying back out. You can hear it. I'm just going to show you on the edge of the tablet cover now how it can suck small particles up. And if it blocks up, I just jam that end down there, block that end up, and it'll blow the rubbish back out where it sucked it up from. So if you just watch down here on the edge of the motor, how it can suck stuff up. Now see how it's blocked up now. Now if I just put this down here, it'll blow it all that back out. Yep, gone. Righto, it's time now to see if she holds water. It'll be a miracle if it does because one end of the hose is smaller than the other end. She's been sitting for a long time. Pinhole in the radiator, so the radiator will probably have to come out, have a bit of salt to put on the core, and then we'll be able to take it for a really good drive around the paddock. But the main thing is, after a few hours' work, she's up and running and driving, clutch and everything works, gears work, so you know, so far we're pretty happy, it's done, it's done pretty well. <laughs> 